branch of the Christ Embassy Church risks eviction from its premises after a lease agreement dispute with the owner of the property. Businessman Victor Da Costa, who is said to be the owner of the property, said the church failed to fulfill its financial obligation towards the agreement. He has consequently applied for an eviction order in the Johannesburg High Court, citing that the church and its leader failed to keep up with the rent installment fixed at 16,000 rands per month. According to the affidavit in the High Court, a letter of demand was sent to the respondent in March, which demanded a full payment of outstanding arrears, rentals, and ancillary expenses amounting to 58,876 rand within seven days. Victor da Costa stated in the affidavit that he had asked the church and its leadership to vacate the premises after they failed to pay up the amount, but the leadership of the church refused, for which reason he sought redress in the High Court for intervention. In a related development, the popular Central Methodist Church in Pritchard Street in Johannesburg. Welcome to the moment of truth. You just heard that. Christ Embassy facing eviction in Johannesburg for non-payment of their rental place where they do their worship. And their pastor is, in, is busy collecting money, raising money in, uh, in New York, in, uh, in USA. You know, the same thing happens in, uh, when I was in Christ Embassy in the UK. You know, the cell leader, we have to pay, the, the, we have to pay for the place we use to meet every weekend, every, every, every once, in a month, once in a week we meet. So you have to pay. If the lady is there, didn't come, don't, didn't, didn't pay any money, it's the cell leader that we pay. So I was lucky because my assistant gave us a place to use. We were using a, 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 a business place, one side there for our meeting. But there's another lady she has to rent a place. And uh, our ladies were not paying because you have to pay a lot of money and all that. So people were not paying. And at the end of the day, the money piled up and uh, she, she, she called out, she called off the, the, the cell meeting something. You know what she did? Brilliant woman. She just gave the address of my church, <laughs> address of my branch uh, in, in, uh, in Dagenham. To the to the to the debt uh, debt control to go there and collect the money and they announced the lady's name in the church they were saying all sort of things about her and all that I don't know why they had to open all these churches just making people people are not getting any spiritual help you are not there and uh, the the pastor too I don't know what they are doing they all know that they are all thieves and robbers look at the other church even a big church a methodist church they are hoeing as well what's wrong with these churches what's wrong with them thank you my people i saw this i said let me bring it to your attention this is what is happening it, it looks like church industry is collapsing because jesus is not there jesus did not he, he did not send them what they are doing they are just doing what they like making people People are dying, people are suffering, and um, the media are opening people's eyes. So people's eyes are being opened. Instead of believing the anointing hall and giving their money, believing in fake miracles and giving their money, people prefer now to go to the hospital, pay the doctor to look after themselves. So the media is working, the blogger is working, and everybody is working. Jesus himself is working. Thank you, my people. My people shall be delivered in Jesus' mighty name. Bye for now.